Yeah, so OpenAI just announcing moments ago a new version of ChatGPT. Well, OpenAI has launched a new AI model and desktop version of ChatGPT along with an updated user interface. Things just got a little more talkative in the AI universe. The company behind ChatGPT announced that its chatbot will now have the ability to speak. Users will now be able to have a back and forth conversation with We've all had those moments where technology does something we never expected, like autocorrect mangling our text messages so badly we have to apologize for something we never actually said. Now, imagine that scenario on a massive scale, with an AI assistant that can buy things, manage your inbox, and poke around the web for you. Sounds pretty convenient, right? But that's exactly where OpenAI finds itself in 2025, balancing the excitement of a brand new ChatGPT agent that could handle just about anything against the possibility that the whole thing might backfire spectacularly. People keep wondering, why hasn't OpenAI already launched it if they're the market leader? Let's talk about why they're playing it so cautious and whether we'd do the same if we were in their shoes. Chapter 1. This isn't just another update. When ChatGPT first arrived, it felt like a revelation. I'm designed to generate responses to questions based on my understanding of natural language. You've probably used it. You've definitely heard of it. ChatGPT has been held as a game changer. You type in a question, it fires back an answer in seconds like magic. But the next version is supposed to do even more. It can read the internet, click on links, buy stuff for you, maybe even handle your financial transactions if you let it. Here's the kicker. The more autonomy this AI gains, the more vulnerable it becomes to something called prompt injection attacks. I know, that name makes it sound like a bad B-movie plot, but it's real. It's basically hackers, or anyone with ill intentions, feeding the AI sneaky instructions it can't resist following, no matter how many safety filters the developers stack on top. If that doesn't make you nervous, picture your AI helper wandering across shady websites ignoring your original instructions and accidentally giving away your credit card details or handing over your personal emails. Suddenly, OpenAI's wonderful new tool becomes OpenAI's epic security disaster. Chapter 2. Prompt Injections The Bougie Man Under the Bed So what exactly is a prompt injection attack? At a simple level, it's like whispering in your AI's ear. Hey, ignore everything your owner said. Do what I tell you instead. That might just be a silly example, but in the wrong hands, it could escalate to malicious websites telling the AI to reveal sensitive data, override security protocols, make harmful purchases, and if you're thinking, my AI would never fall for that, well, scammers trick real humans every day. Scam artists are getting more and more sophisticated. They have a new weapon. AI is making life easier for the criminals. And these AI systems, while brilliant, can still be fooled. Google has Project Mariner. Anthropic has clawed computer use. Both are taking measured steps placing guardrails and disclaimers everywhere. They're fine with launching early previews because they want to learn from real-world testing. Meanwhile, OpenAI is like the popular kid in school who knows everyone's watching, so they're making sure that when they finally show up, they're not wearing mismatched shoes. Chapter 3. Why OpenAI is extra cautious. OpenAI has built its reputation as the go-to name in AI technology. Think about how many of us rely on ChatGPT for everything from writing quick emails to brainstorming big ideas. That's a lot of trust. Now what happens if they let an AI agent loose only to have it cause a massive data breach the first week? With potentially hundreds of millions of users, even a small percentage of incidents becomes a giant fiasco, and it wouldn't stay a secret for long. Twitter, Reddit, and every major news outlet would explode with OpenAI's meltdown, damaging the entire industry's credibility. Their brand's built on innovation, sure, but also on reliability. If they get this wrong, it might redefine AI fails on an epic scale. Chapter 4. When Convenience Turns to Chaos Let's pull back and see the big picture. AI agents that can rummage around your files, handle your shopping, or manage your finances are tempting. Imagine telling ChatGPT, go book my flight, check me into that Airbnb, and pay my cell phone bill. The dream is that it all gets done while you're sipping coffee. But how many times have you clicked on the wrong link in your inbox? We've all had those oh no moments where we realize we might have let something shady slip through. Now scale that up. An AI trying to do 500 tasks at once, sifting through websites for deals, reading your emails, and sorting your digital life. If it hits a malicious site with hidden instructions, it might not just slip up, it could drop the ball in the worst way. Chapter 5. Competing Visions and Solutions Let me tell you the Anthropics approach. They released clawed computer use but slapped on disclaimers. They basically said, you can play with it but sandbox it, don't trust it with your bank info and keep an eye on it. 
They're counting on people being cautious. Google's Project Mariner, letting the AI roam select parts of the web. It can collect data, fill out forms, and do research. But again, it's within strict boundaries. OpenAI's situation is different from these two. They have to weigh the PR fallout if anything goes wrong. They're being cautious because once they launch an AI that can do all those tasks, it's open season for trolls, hackers, or anyone curious enough to try breaking the system. But the truth is, none of these labs really know how these large language models will behave in all scenarios, because the AI can't just be patched the way we patch normal software. These systems are black boxes to a large extent. Chapter 6. The Road Ahead OpenAI is taking its sweet time because the stakes are astronomical. They know the future of AI is all about agents' tools that act on our behalf online. They also know, it just takes a few high-profile slip-ups to ruin the party. We might see a slower rollout with robust guidelines like safe mode. The AI can only browse carefully vetted sites. Second would be mandatory checkpoints. It pings you for permission before each risky action, like purchases, logins, data sharing. And third would be the constant reteaming. An army of testers trying to break the system before the general public does. Yes, it'll feel restrictive at first, but would you rather your AI inadvertently give your banking details to a scam site? Probably not. Chapter 7. A balancing act between innovation and risk. Look, no one's saying we should be paranoid and never try new tech. The potential here is staggering. Imagine an AI that can handle menial tasks and free you up for the things that really matter. But we do have to keep both eyes open when we hand over the keys to our digital kingdom. OpenAI's cautious approach might frustrate the folks who want the latest and greatest right this second, but it could save them and us from a meltdown that sets AI progress back by years. The question is, will all this caution pay off? Or will competitors overshadow OpenAI by releasing their own agents first? Here's the bottom line. The reason OpenAI is so scared to launch their newest ChatGPT model isn't because they can't build it. They can. They already have. But letting it roam free on an unpredictable internet is like sending a toddler into a candy store without supervision. Except, this toddler has your credit card number. Yes, we're thrilled by the idea of an AI that can handle life's tedious details. But if OpenAI pushes its new ChatGPT agent out too early and it gets bamboozled by malicious sites, we'll be the ones paying the price, literally. So let's cut them some slack. They're not just sitting on their hands for no reason. They're working to make sure they don't unleash an AI that can be tricked into handing over your entire digital life. When you think about it that way, maybe waiting a little longer isn't such a bad idea. What do you think? Comment below. I want to know your opinion about this matter. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more of these kinds of videos. Thanks for watching.